One of the best ways I ever found for people to watch your videos longer on YouTube or really videos I make for clients as well is by adding good B-roll to the video. B-roll basically means instead of you watching me talk, you will still hear me talk, but I will lay on top of what I'm saying footage of what I'm talking about. Now, I could go and shoot the B-roll myself. I do that sometimes, but it takes a lot of effort. So sometimes I use what's called stock video to lay on top of my video, right? Stock video is created by someone else. I basically license it and use it. But there's a whole world of motion graphics. Now this is stock video that is animated. Someone, a professional animator or designer has created these motion graphics. And a lot of times, for example, right now, I'm making a video about the metaverse and the VR world. And I'm describing to people watching what that is. But because it's new, there's not that many things about it that are related to the B-roll and stock footage. So here, what I need to do is get a little creative and this is where motion graphics comes in. Because with motion graphics, things are created using a computer. The B-roll is not something someone went out and shot. It's not stock video, it's motion graphics, it's all animated. So I wanted to show you a resource where I find these animated motion graphics that work like stock video that I could lay on top of what I'm talking about to make my videos look a lot more polished and high end. And there are some that you could fully customize. You could put in your own words in there. You could change a lot about those. Now those are a little bit more advanced, but I do want to show you both the stock motion graphics that you could use as they are and the ones you could customize. So I'll show you both and you could use any editing software, but I'll mention some of them that require a special software here. Let's jump in here. Now I've covered this in other videos as well, but this platform is called Envato Elements and I'll put a link in the description of this video. In the case of this video, I wanna show you stock video under motion graphics first. So instead of regular stock footage, which I've covered before, let's click on motion graphics. As I mentioned before, motion graphics are these computer generated basically video clips that are fully animated. And in the case of my video that I'm making, I'm looking for something related to the metaverse, a virtual reality universe basically that has recently become very popular. And because the metaverse is new, there is not that much stock video of it just yet. And these type of motion graphics just look a lot better. So instead of watching someone play VR, I could get this kind of a motion graphics. Now, one of the reasons I recommend Envato Elements is other places where you could buy these one clip at a time, that could really add up, right? Because if you need 10 of them to explain something in a video, that's gonna be 10 different clips you gotta get. With Envato Elements though, it's a subscription platform, meaning you could download all of it, unlimited amounts of these motion graphics and use it in your video. And you could get everything else that this platform has. So they have music and they have different audio clips, sound effects. They also have photos and presentation and other types of graphics. It's all part of the same bundle. So that saves me ton of money because I just have this subscription and I get everything I use on YouTube. So all I had to do here is basically watch any of these. If they seem like a good fit, I just press download and it downloaded them to my computer. So that's the stock video portion of motion graphics. Let me jump into my edit here. And for this video, instead of just doing a plain unboxing video here of my headset, I could instead, when I'm talking about the metaverse here, for example, especially in the beginning of the video, where it's just kind of this overhead shot, or if it's even me talking, I could use that B-roll or that motion graphics as B-roll on top of my video. So let me go ahead and import in a couple of clips here. Okay, so I just imported this clip. So I could preview this clip here. And if I wanted to add it, I could just grab this video and put it right on top of what I'm talking about. So now check this out. While I'm showing footage of the VR, then it cuts to me, then it's gonna cut to what I'm talking about, which makes it a lot more engaging than just me talking the whole time, right? So these type of motion graphics make it a lot easier for people to keep watching because the shot keeps changing, right? It goes to gameplay, it comes to this, it comes back to me, it comes back to the unboxing many, many shot variation so people could keep watching without losing interest. 
Now, a different way that you could use motion graphics for your videos, I also get from Envato Elements, but they're customizable. So Adobe Premiere, what I just showed you, is the software I use, the editing software I use. But they have it for different platforms. They have it for Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve. Let me show you those. So for those, under the video templates here, I'll just go to all video templates. And over here, there's a ton of different types of video templates. So for example, this time I'll search for blockchain because I was explaining blockchain as well as the metaverse in the same video. So I'll search for that. And what I could do here is I could just look at things like video displays. I'll just show you video displays here. This is, has a nice filtering system. And if I scrub over any one of these, you see this has a little bit of text, a little bit of an animation, but these are more customizable. I could, for example, change this text or change the video that's playing. So let me just click on one of these to show you. So this one requires Adobe After Effects. So I could download this open it up in Adobe After Effects and use it from there. And Adobe, a lot of their products does have a free trial, at least for seven days typically. So I'll link that below too if you wanna test this out. If you're new, I don't recommend After Effects. I would look for things that are related to Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. But let me just show you an example here. I'll download this one. And it comes with this project file for Adobe After Effects, which I already have since I have the Adobe bundle here. So I'll open this up. And this is Adobe After Effects, and it looks extremely overwhelming if you've never used it before. But the nice thing I noticed with a lot of these customizable templates is they come with a free tutorial that will walk you through exactly how to change any one of these things that you see here. So if you wanted to change the text, it will show you exactly how to change the text. And they have lots of different scenes, so they're broken up into different scenes. This has about nine different scenes, so I could jump into any one of the scenes to do more customizable actions. So in this case, if I wanted to change this text, I just double click this text and my own text will go over here instead of what was there before. So this is much more advanced than the first option, but the fact that you could do this now with a template is mind blowing to me. I've been making videos for over 15 years inside YouTube and for clients. And all that time, I've really never had a tool that would let me for a few bucks get something this professional customly made. I used to spend thousands of dollars to hire animators, even for simple things that seemed this simple, but now you could do it with templates, with motion graphics templates. So between the motion graphics that you could find under this tab, as well as the video templates for all kinds of different products that you see over here that are fully customizable, you now could do very high-end work with video without knowing anything about animation, motion graphics, or design. So hopefully you could spend a little bit more time on your videos to add those motion graphics or different types of stock videos on top of your video so you could really make it stand out and keep people more engaged when watching your videos. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up. Everything I mentioned is linked below and I will see you next time.